All right, I managed to capture some bird pictures, even some flying birds. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And today I'm gonna take a photo walk with a slightly unusual combo. This is the Canon EOS R3 and the Canon 100-500 zoom lens. I got a call from Canon Finland, big thanks to Canon Finland for remembering me. And they asked me if I'd like to take this combo for a spin. And of course I want it. And this is an interesting camera. It's not interesting in a sense that I'd like to buy this camera because I think the key features of this camera would be wasted with me. As far as I can understand, this camera was designed for uh, nature photography, birds in flight, sports and that kind of action photography. And I very seldom shoot that kind of action. My genre is more like street photography and that's why this camera is quite a, a weird combo. Or this camera lens is a quite weird combo today. However, this is interesting in a sense that I knew very little about this camera before I got it in my hands. This came out already, is it two years ago or so? But in my information bubble, in my social media bubble, this camera got very little exposure. It was not hyped like some other cameras. And as a matter of fact, before I got this in my hands, I didn't even know some of the base specifications of this camera, like the pixel count and things like that. Maybe some of you were more exposed to this camera or maybe some of you saw some hype around this camera when it came out, but I certainly did not. Anyway, this is Canon's top of the line model at the moment. It's designed for hardcore action, sports, uh, birds in flight and stuff like that. Today I'm not sure if I can highlight many of those <laughs> features. I'm just walking around here, uh, but maybe we will encounter some city animals, city birds or whatever, and maybe I can capture some of those. I don't know. This jacket is definitely too much today. The weather report looked quite bad when I left home, but actually the day is really nice and beautiful and warm. I'm overdressed. I don't feel very comfortable walking around with this setup. Not that I wouldn't feel safe, but I just simply prefer my uh, photo walk setup slightly more discreet. I feel that especially this big white lens draws way too much attention and I feel that everyone who's passing by is staring at me. This combo certainly looks big and heavy and for sure it is not uh, any kind of a pocket camera setup. But I have to say that it's not nearly as heavy as it looks, especially the camera body is surprisingly lightweight. I was surprised when I first picked up the, just the body, how light it is, how lightweight. But this whole combo, it's not nearly as big as or heavy as it looks. It's not small, of course, but uh, it's not nearly as bad as it looks for some of you. Interestingly, this camera has a very fast readout sensor, so I can use the electronic shutter and the completely silent mode all the time, which is kind of neat. I like that, and I like the uh, fact that the, I don't have to use the mechanical shutter, because I think today in 2023 we should slowly start to get rid of those mechanical shutters that make sound, they can wear out and uh, you know, I think it's just a little bit of uh, old technology already in 2023. One thing that I immediately liked in this camera is the viewfinder. It's an electronic viewfinder, of course, but there are two sizes of uh, the, the viewfinder, let's say, picture that you can choose. And if I choose the little bit smaller one, I can easily see the full frame, full frame, this is a full frame camera, with my glasses. And that is so nice. There are so many cameras out there, some, even some expensive cameras, that have a poor viewfinder for people who wear glasses, people like me. And it's a pain in the butt, uh, to be honest, if you can't see the frame properly. And that's, I think, it's one of the key, um, like, key things to see when you are taking pictures, because that's how you compose your pictures. And if you can't see the frame properly, your compositions can be off, and it just makes the 
whole process of uh, composing and taking a picture a little bit more uh, unpleasant. I don't even try to list all the features of this camera. It would be too much for this photo walk video. But I can say that the camera body is highly customizable. Which is typical Canon, at least for, uh, typical for higher end Canon cameras. They are usually very customizable and uh, to be honest, the autofocus is a little bit too much customizable to my taste. There are so many options and I think it would take uh, weeks or even months of using this camera uh, to find out the optimal settings for certain scenarios. There are so many custom options in the autofocus menu that it's just uh, overwhelming. The handling and ergonomics are also great and that's another typical Canon thing. They have always known how to make great handling cameras. All the controls and uh, uh, dials and buttons they are just in the right place and even though this is a really uh, feature rich camera and uh, it has so many functions and features that like I said I can't even uh, say in this video but still it doesn't look like overwhelmingly intimidating. All right there are some birds in this little pond behind me but to be honest I feel a little silly hanging around here with this huge camera, huge lens. I feel like I'm the stereotypical old guy with a big camera taking pictures of uh, um, birds here in the in the park uh, but this is the best I can do today. <laughs> There is even this one injured bird behind me. Uh, he or she must be really scared because I'm intruding with my, you know, huge wide lens and my huge camera. And I feel sort of sorry for this bird. The future doesn't seem very mm, bright for this particular sample of a uh, seabird back there. But I guess that's, that's life, that's nature, that's city life. Right, I managed to capture some bird pictures, even some flying birds. I did so much better than I expected when I started this photo walk. So I feel really, really happy now. I think that a lens like this is very suitable also for landscapes and cityscapes and any kinds of scapes because with the long telephoto lens you can create that compressed, uh, flattened uh, perspective that you can't get with any other lens type and sometimes it just uh, makes the scene a live boring looking scene and it also sort of can show you something that you can't necessarily see with your bare eyes because the scene that you can grab with a long telephoto like this it's usually quite far away and it's hard to see it the same way with your bare eyes. This zoom lens has a really neat feature. It has this ring here that I can't rotate right now because my both hands are occupied. But anyway, you can adjust the, the resistance of the zoom ring and you can also prevent the zoom creep with that ring. And it's a really nice, if you are shooting some action, you can have it uh, like almost completely loose and it's fast and quick to move the focus distance or not focus distance the the zoom distance the focal length and when you are walking around or you want to stay at certain focal length then you put it um, to the tight position and then it uh, stays there and it's uh, you can still move it but uh, it doesn't move by itself one thing I notice when I move the autofocus point with the joystick, I can do it with extreme precision, with much more precision than, for example, with my Sony A7 Mark IV. When I touch the joystick, the autofocus point moves just a little bit, but when I keep pressing the joystick, then the focus point moves 
uh, faster and it's very very nicely executed and uh, much better than in many other cameras. Based on this short walk this is super super responsive and the autofocus seems of course very very fast and it seems to be very sticky once it grabs the subject it sticks to that very very nicely and I can imagine that if you earn your living from some sort of action photography, sports or birds in flight photography or whatever similar photography, this would be a great tool for that. But uh, <laughs> as a photo walk camera, it is a little bit big and heavy and, uh, you know, uh, not too discreet. But uh, then again, this was not uh, designed to be a photo walk camera. This combo especially is not designed to be any kind of a casual photo walk camera. Oh yes, the pixel count that I was referring to at the start of this video as one of the key features with every camera with this it's 24 24 megapixels full frame sensor and it's uh, supposed to be some sort of a stacked uh, bsi sensor or whatever the best that canon has to offer it looks like the weather report was correct after all it's raining already and time to head home not that the rain matters for the camera this is weather sealed of course but i'm not weather sealed and i don't want to stand in the rain any more than necessary i hope you enjoyed this little photo walk with me and the canon eos uh, r3 and the 100 to 500 zoom lens thank you so much for joining in uh, if you found this video entertaining or useful please do consider buying me a cup of coffee there's a link down below for that if you don't live in Finland. Thank you so much for joining in and I'll definitely see you in the next video.